What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Renid Vouchy 126, Longfoot, Austin Baker Golf, The Mysterious Midnight, Tat Cap, Don King, Casey Merritt, Gino, Layla M, Lorenzo Baxter, Richard Cardamone, Disgruntled DM, Sergio Talamantes Flores, Alan Barty, Farah, Andy Jackson, Jesus Pereira, Alexander Thomas, Justin Fountain, Willie Boughton, Vocaloider97, Kalen Fisher, Redemption, Trent Dragu, Oryxon, Golden Gear Grinder, MZ, Marvoius, Brea Rose, Austin, Tony Seiler, Anon Omit, Warner, X Nova X Night X, Jacob Dimmler, Richard Black, Abigail Stember, Christopher Heckel, Chris O, Elijah Moffat, Alexander Rost, James Anderson, Jonathan Emil, Ace Attorney Fan 621, Jamie, Crawler XP, Larry Walker, Musa, and Benjamin Gomez. And I would also like to give a shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Bevan Rummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button down beside the subscribe button. And if you want to join our Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Hmm. Wait too long. Get around. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. Damn it. <laughs> Got owned by a guy named Duke. <laughs> Oh. Oh. And wow, this dude, this dude right here, is this Colonel Sanders? Yes. You know, for the longest time, I was wondering if this franchise would ever come back. Because here's the thing about the Mighty Ducks. I was about, God, I think I was like four, maybe five years old whenever the first one came out. And it stuck with me. It's one of the first films I ever remember watching in movie theaters and like cheering. like And like people in the theaters were treating it like almost it was like a, a sports event. And they were like cheering and everything. Yeah! Woo! And, you know... <sighs> Underdog stories are, are, you know, a dime a dozen. But, you know, you can't beat a good crowd pleaser. Especially when they tell the story well. Especially when the story is told really well. And Disney Plus seems to be making a lot of... Mostly. I'm not going to say all. I'm not even say, I'm going to say a lot. But they've been making some good moves. Um, You know, with The Mandalorian. With their focus on... Uh, on uh, this, they're, you know, really, like, broadening their streaming platform. And now we have Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Now, if I, if I, if I can be honest about the original Mighty Ducks trilogy, um, the first one, a genuine crowd pleaser, a lot of fun. Also, uh, the fact that they wore green, uh, as their primary jersey color was, uh, yeah, I, I Green, green is my favorite. Well, when I was a kid, green was my favorite color, and I loved, I loved green a lot. <clears throat> and the fact that their uniforms were green in the original was awesome. But then the second movie came out, and then they were Team USA, and then they became the Mighty Ducks and used like the the equipment look of the Anaheim Ducks at the time. And then, uh, yeah, it was a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the second one I thought was just as good as the first one in a lot of ways. The characters grew up, although there were several characters that were missing. Uh, I know that uh, Peter, Carp, uh, Jesse's brother Terry was no longer part of the team. Uh, several, like, yeah, several players. Uh, Tammy and Tommy Duncan, uh, like a lot of the players. And I know that they replaced them with other, with, uh, with other players that were... If, uh, just as effective. I mean, you know, they had Dean Portman, they had Tex, they had uh, uh, Kimmy Wu, I believe, uh, Kenny Wu, the uh, kid who uh, could, the figure skater who could 
like spin very fast, and then they had uh, and then they had uh, Julie the Cat Gaffney, uh, who got to be honest, had a crush on when I was a kid. I had a big crush on her when I when I was a kid, and then um, yeah, it was a, and then the third one happened, and the third one was just weird because it went with them like going to all of them getting scholarships to like a private high school, and it was really really weird, and I didn't like the third one as much. But, and for the longest time they thought, they talked about doing like one where Charlie becomes a coach or Charlie, uh, you know, following Charlie's path, but then I guess they could never get anything together. And then they did the Mighty Ducks animated show, which, God have mercy, I really wish that this would just, uh, I really wish that that just didn't happen. Uh, you know what? Never happened. What 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 horrible animated show that completely made a mockery of the Mighty Ducks. I mean, yeah. <laughs> God. But now here we are with Mighty Ducks Game Changers, and there is a trailer for it out right now. Uh, or a date announce, rather. Uh, don't don't know why they didn't just call it an announcement trailer or anything like that. I, I don't know. Anyway, we got... Uh, it's only a minute long. Let's see what happens. Here we go. I gotta cut you. If you can't be great at hockey, it's like... Don't bother. I want you to think about all the other kids who have been told that they're too small or too slow. They just want to get out there and play. Yeah. Let's start our own team. Okay. All we need is an ice rink. No! Oh! Emilio! Holy shit! Dude! What the hell? You gotta make this happen for yourself. I haven't seen it. Jesus Christ. Why do you care so much? Because you care. I think it works in hockey too. Nothing but net. I mean, come on. If you hit nothing but net in the in hockey, I mean it's pretty much a goal it's more likely to be a goal if you hit nothing but net than friggin basketball because the hoop and basketball i am overthinking this holy hell emilio estevez dude as awesome jesus christ uh, it, so i have not seen emilio estevez in a film good god when was the last time i saw him i i think it was I think it was JFK, or, or no RFK rather the uh, the story about Bobby Kennedy. I legit think that was it. I think the last time I saw him was RFK. Which, God, when was that? Was that two thousand seven, two thousand eight? Two, uh, I believe two thousand six to two thousand eight. I'm not sure. But good God. That, that was like an ensemble film that dealt with the death of uh, Bobby Kennedy. And he was the direct writer and director of it, and that was the last thing I saw him in. And then I remember, like, Patrice O'Neill, God rest his soul, made made a joke about at the... It was at the roast of Char, of uh, Charlie Sheen. And he, he made the joke say, because so, you see, they can keep an Estevez down, but they can't keep a Sheen down. And, uh, yeah, I mean... They were like, holy shit. I mean, your brother did everything right, and that motherfucker's career is over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that. But it's good to see Emilio Estevez back again. I always liked Emilio Estevez. And the fact that he does, didn't make it a living off of his father's name and instead actually went with his father's original last name and not... You see... God. Anyway... This this whole thing this this uh, I'm excited to see this I wouldn't mind watching this I got Disney Plus as long as I don't got to pay extra for it like freaking Mulan which glad I missed the boat on that one ha <laughs> ha uh, me and Chad told y'all that movie was gonna suck but did y'all listen nope nope Disney can't do no wrong it's Mulan it's more historically accurate oh you poor sad fools anyway. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. Let's get... Uh, yeah, I, I want to see this. So, 
let's yeah i'll watch it maybe i'll make a reaction series out of it maybe anyway that's gonna do it ladies and gentlemen so until next time i'm nate i'll see you then peace out